Hi, my name's Graham Burns and I'm the UK and Ireland Area Sales Manager. Teledyne Gas and Flame has manufactured the GD10P Point Infrared Detector since its acquisition of Simtronics back in 2019. This video will help explain the feature of the early dirty optics warning. Often confused with a conventional fault, this feature will allow you to reduce the amount of times responding to false alarms and unplanned maintenance. The GD10P technology relies on infrared light being emitted, reflected and detected within the gas detection path of the device. The device calculates the amount of gas present against the amount of infrared light absorbed when reflected off the mirror within the gas detection path. As well as gas, there's other substances that will absorb infrared light within the device. Water vapour, humidity, dirt, dust and any other contaminant on the lens. To help reduce false alarms, the GD10P has been designed with two infrared paths. The detection path, the wavelength of this infrared band has been tuned into the target gas, and the reference path, where the infrared wavelength has been tuned away from the target gas or similar gases. This allows the device to differentiate between gas and other contaminants. Here you can see the gas present, absorbing the detection path in the device and outputting as a gas event. Whereas here you see contamination building up on the lens, absorbing infrared in both the gas detection path and the reference path, telling the device there's a build up of contamination. In many applications, dirt and contamination will build up over time. But using the information of the absorption of the reference beam, the devices are able to readjust the zero drift that will occur in the presence of contamination. This self-re-zeroing of the device will reduce the amount of false alarms and also the frequency of service interventions. However, like all infrared devices, there's only so much contamination it can take before a re-zero is not possible. We understand the cost of unplanned maintenance at Teledyne, so this is why we've designed the early dirty optics warning. When contamination builds to a level where the infrared absorption hits 55%, of the calibrated value, the device will output two milliamps. This is to indicate that the device is in the early dirty optics warning state. It's important to know that the device is still detecting and it's safe to remain online. If the gas concentration rises to above 7% LEL, the device will come out of the early dirty optics warning phase and output a 4 to 20 milliamp that's re representative of the gas present. When the gas then drops down below 7% LEL, it reverts back to the early dirty optics warning and again outputs 2 milliamps, again indicating that the device needs to be cleaned. If the device isn't cleaned and contamination continues to build on the device and the infrared absorption reduces to 70% of its calibrated level, then the device will then go into 1 milliamp output and that indicates a genuine fault condition. In this state, the device is no longer detecting and needs to be taken offline. In theory, if the contamination stays linear between the date of installation and the date of the early dirty optics warning, you have about 50% of that time to schedule in the cleaning of the lens before the device drops to the 70% absorption and goes into genuine fault condition. To summarise, when the device goes into the early dirty optics warning state, and outputs 2 milliamps, the device is still detecting. What it means is you should schedule in either a device swap out or a lens clean into your maintenance schedule. If you have any questions about the GD10P or any of our other gas and flame detection products, please do not hesitate to contact us.